Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills where I'm committed to providing inspirational and practical ways to transform your life and the world around you by planting fruit and medicinal trees. And today I'm gonna give you a little update on the Moringa air layer that I did uh, a while ago um, on, you know, one of my videos a little while ago, uh, where I did the air layer on this tree here. This is giant leaf Moringa. I air layered it in about five or six different places and only one air layer took. And when an air layer takes, it starts developing roots. And so you can see that on that video. But I wanted to give you an update on that air layer cutting because none of the other cuttings actually worked. So one that did work actually is doing so well. And this is it. This is the uh, air layered cutting that I put in a pot. And you can see a nice little sprout coming in on the bottom there, but it's getting some really great growth on it. It's branching out really nicely. So um, this one's doing really well. I wanted to give you that update. And I also wanted to show you a uh, giant leaf over here. I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you a little closer look because once you prune it, uh, I pruned this all the way down to the stump. And I'll also show you Maui over there because I pruned Maui super heavy all last year. And I want you to see what's happening to Maui right now. All right, so first, here's the uh, air layer. Uh, give you a little closer look. Nice nice branch coming in on the bottom. Um, and then, yeah, it's just got some real nice, strong branches coming in there and up here. You know, a little bit of yellow yellowing is fine because uh, it just means it's pushing out more new growth. And there's a lot of new growth if you look in here. So that's really good. Hi there, baby. So this is giant leaf moringa. And this was the air layer. This was the one over here. Whoops. Cat proof box fell down. That's okay. So one of these branches over here was the one where the air layer took. And uh, this is the one I cut off that I had some roots on it. And now there's like one, two big branches coming right up out of here. Two big branches coming off of this one. And this whole section has a whole bunch of branches coming up. So it's really filling out nicely. It's growing tall real quick. So look at this big massive branch that just, it started out as a sprout right off the trunk here. That's all green, this is all new growth. All the way up here, and then does a nice bend. It starts going straight up. It's this one here. A lot of new growth. So, so this tree's ready to explode. I'm excited to see it, what happens to it this summer. See the trunk right here? Giant Leaf had a trunk the size of this one last year. Actually, a lot smaller than this. This one was planted at the same time as giant leaf. So uh, just a quick observation is sometimes you get faster growing moringas and slower growing moringas, same exact conditions. And this one's growing much slower. And this one likes to put off so many flowers. So if you guys have a ton of flowers on your tree and it's not producing a lot of green leaves, that's because it's putting all of its energy into producing flowers and pods. So if you want a tree to grow big, I will basically pluck all the flowers off the small moringas hi honey hi sweetheart what are you doing so now let me give you a little quick update on maui because i haven't given you guys an update on maui for a while and i chopped maui down you guys saw that last time i chopped maui down it was probably about three months ago and it's such a huge trunk here on maui that you know i was expecting it her to just shoot right back up but i must have trimmed her so much last year that she was like are you sure you really want me to grow from the top here <laughs> because uh you kept cutting me down so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave maui alone this year mostly i'll, I'll harvest some leaves as they as it grows a little bigger but i think i'm not gonna prune her as much because she's branching out with just so many branches here but they're coming in from the bottom and I'm gonna show you so here's Maui and she's doing really really well the Bermuda grass has taken over down here <laughs> but I mean she's got just a nice big trunk you guys remember last year 
I'm gonna have to do a whole Stonehaven garden update, but you remember last year, Maui was small, probably the size of this right here. And this was the first sprout that came up after I trimmed it, and it's just coming in and as such a strong branch with a whole bunch of additional branches coming out. Um, it's gonna really bush out. Another, another sprout here, nice thick sprouts. Got another one coming up here right on the top now. So it's gonna get tall. Nice big sprout over here on this side too. So it's gonna get tall. Um, so I'm excited. It's already about as tall as me again. So it's gonna be a bush this year and I'm gonna let it bush out. She's looking really good. And my little rainbow eucalyptus looks like it's seen better days, but it is growing. It's got a lot of new growth up top. So that's good, but I hear if you make it past the first winter, you're good to go. And this is all new, new growth, brand new growth down here. So it is definitely growing slowly, but I guess that's expected with rainbow eucalyptus. Maybe before I end this video, I should show you the other. Uh, this is Moana. Moana, the Moringa was planted right next to Maui but with the Roundup kind of got sprayed on it, you know, and uh, wasn't doing too well. So I chopped the whole tree down, planted the cutting in a pot, and then I took the root ball out and I put it right here in front of me. And check this out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, literally, I'll just kind of give you a nice backup shot here. Uh, the sun is really blown out right there, so you can't really see the height of this thing but um it blew up blew up like crazy and and look at the trunk here so the trunk was definitely not this big when i planted it and this was just a sprout this is actually where i cut the whole thing off planted the top as a cutting and both this one and this one were the, were the first two sprouts that came out of the trunk and now it's like massive. And we planted this uh, probably uh, end of the year, August, September, something like that. And it handled winter really, really well. And <laughs> it's just so big now. But I've been eating off this one already. Um, this one's starting to get a lot of flowers on it. So this one's gonna produce some pods. But it's just so fun watching these things grow. Yeah, I really do have to give you a Stonehaven Garden update because those are my peaches. That was a bare root peach less than a year and a half ago from Greg Peterson. Planted last February 2017. It was a bare root peach and now it's, it's a whole tree. <laughs> Both of those peaches are so big right now. There's so many peaches on them, but that's for another video. So thank you guys for watching this video. Leave your comment below if you're planting any Moringa trees. And if you do plant Moringa trees, you need to go to Facebook, the I Want More Moringa group on Facebook and uh, join because we got Moringa people all over the world that love this amazing tree as much as me. So, if you like this video, give me a big green thumbs up, share this video with the world, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, thank you. I appreciate you guys because, you know, that's why I do this, so you guys can watch my wacky cool videos of me eating the leaves on trees. <laughs> so I also want to say thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. I really appreciate you guys. If you do want to support me on Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash develop awesome skills and help me plant more trees if you want. You can get behind me, help support me, do the cool visions that I have. And your name will be in the end of these videos in the credits. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, until next time, develop awesome skills. Love y'all.